Well, I cannot believe this at all. My very first system test is here. This will be Monaco Vulcan 1 System Test 1. The way I've decided to name these system tests is basically the panel, the type of panel it is, and I'm going to put system test, whatever it is after that. So in this case, it's Monaco Vulcan 1 System Test 1. Let's say I get something else later on. Like I'm going to say like a Simplex 4004, for example. Uh, let's say I get one of those, then that would become Simplex 4004 System Test. You know, something like that. So what exactly do we have for devices for this inaugural system test? Well, here we got a Firelight VG12L. This was my very first alarm right here, by the way. And next to it is a System Sensor P1224MC. It's the multi-candela version of the System Sensor Spectre Alert. As you can see, hopefully you can see on the side there. Let's see if we zoom it in. You might be able to see. It. Yeah, there's the uh, candela selection right there. By the way, this is set on 15 candela. And by the way, this is set on low volume, temporal, and mechanical horn. So I figured I would let you know about that. So anyways, here's the Monaco Vulcan 1. Yeah, I know, it's not very impressive. I don't have a case for it just yet. It's not a very common panel. It's a little bit problematic finding parts for it. That's kind of the thing there. Uh, so this will have to do for now. And about the system right here, uh, yeah, it's not very impressive, I know. However, as I go on with the system tests, I may decide to put this on a board or maybe even set it up on the wall or something. And yeah, I know, I got a single pull station right there. So maybe in the future I'll probably add a smoke detector or two to the system. You know, these system tests have to start somewhere, so why not here? So without further ado, let's conduct my very first system test. Here we go. Let's push in and pull it down. As you can hear, it is doing FWR. That's why it sounds a little raspy. As you can see, it's an alarm right now. Now let's silence it. Almost touched that big capacitor there. That would not be good. Now, I cannot reset the panel just yet because I have not reset the pole station. So, let's do that. Let's get my handy dandy firelight key. Just stick that in there, and let's reset this. And now we can reset this. Otherwise, if I hadn't reset it, the circuit is still making a contact, the switch is still closed, uh, it would just go back into alarm once I reset it. So let me do something I have never done before in my, uh, well, I might have done this before, but what I can do, let me see if I can open up the pull station. There we go. Uh oh, that's not good. Okay, I'm just going to keep it up like this. What I can do is flip that little switch there. Flip it back up. Of course, reassemble this pull station first. See, it's reset, but it's still going. Now I could just hit reset here and that'll shut off. So, oh, let me demonstrate the uh, panel going to alarm if I hadn't reset the pole station. See, I, let me just silence this. Mind you, the pole station is still activated. Let's try to reset it. See, it's just going to go back into alarm. So let me reset this quick. If I set this up on a board, this will be much easier to do. And let's reset this. So yeah, that was my very first system test. I know it's very basic, but I hope you enjoyed this video. Anyways, that'll be it. Okay, so the panel is off right now, I know, but... 
I just wanted to say this. Uh, if you have an idea you can, you would like to see me do an assistive test, feel free to post it, and if it's good enough, I may actually feature it in a video of mine. Uh, I may need your help coming up with ideas because I cannot think of every single little thing on my own. However, I do have a few guidelines if you would like to do this. Uh, first and foremost, you must make sure the device is in my collection. Uh, yeah, this is pretty self-explanatory. You just got to make sure I have it first. Uh, this thing does actually put out FWR, as you saw from the Spectraler over here. It does sound a little bit raspy, believe it or not. However, these devices can take FWR. And actually, most fire alarm devices can, most modern fire alarm devices. So, if you're wanting to hear a certain device on the system, like, I cannot do something like a Simplex True Alert, unfortunately. Or basically anything from Simplex from the 1990s onwards. That's because those devices can't really do FWR. Uh, I guess they're designed to work on filter DC. However, just about everything else I can think of can work on FWR. Uh, a lot of the other devices from other companies, not sure about Siemens devices, Faraday, modern devices from them at least. Uh, I might be able to do mechanical horns from them. If you could fill me in on that, that would be awesome. Uh, a few other things I got to think of. This does actually put out slightly higher than 20... 4 volts. I think it puts out like 26 volts. So if you want to see a certain device, you got to make sure the device is able to take it. Take the uh, slightly higher voltage. So. Those are the few things I can think of for now. Uh, I may put it in the description if I have a few more things I can think of. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this system test one. Monaco Vulcan 1 System Test 1, and that'll be it.